Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Hannibal Marie, with my lovely assistant, Helga. Would you believe that Helga is a virgin? No? Well, come and try, Helga. Today's video is going to be a very big thrift store haul. So if you're the type that like thrift store hauls, then I hope you like this video. But I do want to claim that the stuff that I like to pick from thrift stores wouldn't be something that most people like to pick. Pick a peck of pickle peppers. Cause Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Cause Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickle peppers. And pick a peck of peppers. And Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickle peck of pickle peck of pickle peck of I'm so sorry. I can't control myself sometimes. I, for one, enjoy a good thrifted find. Now, many people like to thrift for amazing clothing or a good bargain. I like to find really strange things. I like to find abnormal things to add to my ever-growing collection or to spruce up my humble abode mostly consisting of clown memorabilia, strange trinkets that they might have that's really out of this world, and dolls and all sorts of stuff. I mean, I'm all over the map when it comes to what I like. But yes, I have a bunch of strange, crazy, odd <sighs> finds for you today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I will start with the books and the music, just get them out of the way. I mean, who reads anymore, right? <laughs> I only found one movie this time, but it has Cher and it has Nicolas Cage, but it's Moonstruck. I found this because I've heard so much good stuff about it. I actually sadly have not seen it. I've seen bits and parts of it. So this is going to be a good watch, and I do own a VHS player, just to let you guys know. Um, the next thing I found, well, two things that I found in the book section, was kind of like a, I'll buy it because I see it. Um, if you guys don't know, I like to collect conspiracy theories, and just conspiracies in general, from aliens to Bigfoot to governmental plans to take over the world. I like to get it all because I like to paranoid myself and um, not be able to sleep sometimes. So this one, I don't know how good it's going to be, but I seen the Illuminati on it and I'm like, okay, I'll take it. But um, it says, none dare call it conspiracy. And it's just like a little flip book. I would say maybe a coffee table book. I don't know, my type of coffee table book, I'd say. The next paper-related thing was this. Um, it was a couple cents because of it being paper. I mean, I could have probably just stuffed this in my purse, but I'm not the type of person anymore. Um, it says, think of me only Fabio, or Fabio, however you say it. The reason I wanted it, because it's corny, and it's kind of... Um, uh, it's really cringeworthy, I do say so myself, but it's a picture of a naked Fabio, oh, semi-naked Fabio, and, um, I don't know. I like to grab things, if you guys aren't aware, I like to grab things for art purposes and photo shoots and all sorts of stuff, so I'm going to probably put this to good use, maybe do something with it, I don't know. I thought it was funny. I I just thought it was woo, funny. Next bunch is all of these old records. Um, some of these I don't really know. I just thought they would be good, and so I grabbed it. The sole purpose of my even grabbing this one is the fact that Lee Evans himself has signed it. I don't know if Lee Evans is the same Lee Evans I'm thinking about, but from, you know, Mouse Hunt or Mouse Trap. I don't remember the name. Something with mouse and something with associated with the mouse. I, I don't remember. Um, 
But it has some really good types of themes here. It has Gone with the Wind, The Deadly Affair, Born Free, A Man and a Woman, and The Happening. So, I, I don't know. Might be good. Might be good, you never know. That's the whole joy of getting these things here. They weren't that much either, so... And plus, I'm kind of wanting to rebuild um, my old record collection. Another story. Damn, I'm full of stories today. Um, I used to have a lot of these. I used to have like a whole little library case, like a bookcase full of old vintage records. But, sadly, um, I moved and... Um, yeah, I, I lost everything. So, I'm trying to rebuild everything back. I don't, I don't know. I just, I, I want records, okay? I, I really do. This one is from a Glenn Miller. I've heard stories about him. I do like Habanera and Swing Easy and Moonlight Serenade. So, they have a bunch of other ones too, so I'm kind of looking... I'm looking forward to that, only because I like a good rest and recline. So from music and movies and all that, I'm going to go right here because these are closest to me. The next thing I found was this beautiful handmade Frida Cleo box. It was an empty little box that I added some more stuff that I got today inside. But um, the inside has this. A little cross with a little um, bunch of birds inside. Bunch of birds. The inside of the box looks like this. It's just a little pink carpet inside the cover. It was in a bag for 50 cents, and I'm like, please give it to me. I love her, so why not? The next bunch of things that I found to add to my ever-growing wardrobe is button covers. If you guys don't know what button covers are, then you'll need some help in understanding that they cover your buttons. Um, but these are old little vintage button covers, and she is adorable. She's a face that you put on your button. And then these are all her little dress tapestries that go follow suit. So you put them on, and that's, you only get one of her head though. But I thought they were cute. The next thing I got is, I would say, my, one of my hugest obsessions would have to be, um, cameos. I love cameos of all types. And then I found the biggest one there. So this is the mother cameo of them all that I've gotten so far, but this one's gorgeous. And then the last, the last piece of jewelry for today is this gorgeous ram pendant. I'm thinking ram. I don't know. Don't quote me on it, but it's a gorgeous ram pendant with emerald green eyes. And it's just creepy and I love it. And it's missing some stones though, but that's fine. So that is all that I got in jewelry wise. Put the cat back on the box! Now we're gonna go into some random stuff that I got. I got a bunch of fake grapes. Some in purple, some in red, and some in yellow. Why? I don't know. I just wanted them. They look very old. They look very gaudy and gorgeous. And I'm planning to do some shoots with these. I don't know yet, but they're going to be... They're, they're, they're going to be. The next thing I found hanging up were these coasters, but not just any coasters. Oh no, 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 not just any coasters. These coasters have dried butterflies on the inside. I've seen these once or twice in my life, and I'm planning on owning everything with dried butterflies inside, because they make your coffee experience be ten times the sweeter. But here's one. And they're made of wood. And here's a two. And a three. And a four. Next thing I found, which was kind of goofy but I wanted it, is this little sequined bat. Why you say? Well, why not? What do you have against bats? I wanted the bat, and I got the bat. And that's where it's at. Next thing I found in the kids' toy section, for almost close to $5, is a Krusty the Clown doll. Why? Because I've always wanted a Krusty doll. I, I, I've always wanted a Krusty doll. 
I collect clowns, as I keep saying, and he is a clown, so he goes into it and he has pet hair all over him. Pets. Anyway, he's cute. He's in fairly good, really good condition, actually. And now I'm just looking at a doll's weenus, so that's not nice. Next, I found two portraits, or pictures. Um, I found this, and it says, Old rag doll, torn and tattered, you were my friend when it really mattered. And if that does not say my name, then I don't know what does say my name. On the back, it's absolutely gorgeous. It has a 1995 with a J. Bronchley. I don't know if I am butchering that name. It's Ellen Creek Samplers by Judy. It's folk art. And it says, Ellen Creek is a place that time has forgotten. Amid the wildflowers and tree stands and time-worn cabin where I do my work with the squeak of an old rocking chair, a crackling fire and a family of cats to keep me company, I stitch each sampler using old buttons, lace, and quilts. Granddad makes the frames from his old barn that was torn down last summer. And I love that so much. Next is this really creepy picture of a pig. Um, why did I want a picture of a pig? Um, why don't you want a picture of a pig? It's creepy, it's extremely big, and this looks like it's one of those prized hog pictures that farmers and traders usually have up to show the prized pig that they are about to slaughter so I wanted it and I got it for 25 cents moving on to some extras I forgot there's another piece of jewelry right here and it's a beautiful brooch of a cloudy rainy day I love rain clouds I love rain so rain rain beautiful brooch and I'm obsessed with brooches oh my lord next thing I got is this gorgeous cat mug why because I had to I love cats and I love coffee so cat mug and you can remove the lid and use it as a coaster oh my goodness mmm so good it tastes so wonderful I'm gonna put this back up and save it for later I found three. You can count them. One, two, three. I found three beautiful antique dolls. Mostly clowns. And they are going to go into my large cabinet of clowns. I do collect clowns. Again, I have to say it. I don't know why. I have an obsession and I'm really sick in the head. So, clowns. I'm going to go ahead and just get this one out of the way because it's not a clown. But it's beautiful just the same. And she is a part of my life now and... I hers and she me and they still have tags all of them seem to all have tags two of the three are actually musical dolls so they actually twist in the back and play music I got beautiful Miss Kitty from the cats musical and she's absolutely gorgeous and wearing her beautiful golden outfit and her fluffy fluff and her beautiful face and her beautiful back with her beautiful tail and if you wind her up, she goes. The next little lady that I found, and she's already going off, and she's from Bradley's musical, so she was an old Bradley doll, and she looks like this with her little cute little porcelain feet, 
as you can clearly see as day. Her beautiful face with her ginormous eyes and her beautiful fluff. And she, just like the cat, has a twist in the back and she plays one of my favorite tunes that I pretty much own every single clown memorabilia with, Sin and the Clowns. Now both of them are going off. And the very last doll that I also found around the same time she was actually hanging in the window. And fun story with this one. One of the cashier ladies said that she knew I was gonna come back and get her. That right there explains how frequently I am visiting this thrift store and how much they know that I adore clowns. It's kind of frightening and a little bit sickening. But anyways, this one is almost as big as I am, so please do forgive me if I can't get her full in frame. But here she is. I say she, could be he. But she is absolutely adorable. She is absolutely adorable. Just look at her. She has a squishy soft body and a porcelain head. She doesn't sing like the rest of them. She's just a doll. And she has a little tie in the back that you can hang up on the wall. So she can just hang off your roof if you want. But I'm keeping her on my bed. With the rest of my boudoir dolls. Mm. I love her so much. She's the best purchase yet. I would have to say. And I work hard. And I deserve it. And I work hard for my money, honey. <laughs> And the very last thing I have to show you for today is an actual little musical instrument thing. It is a children's toy, but I am a child, so it's, it's all good. I found this cat piano. I've seen this one go around, and I've been wanting this one since I've seen it. And I'm so happy that I found it. And it still works, too, so I will drop you a hard beat. I'm a grown woman, and I wanted a cat piano. Meow. I literally called them up the day that I found this. I didn't have any money to get it then, the day that I found it. I called them up and asked if they could hold it for me. I'm a grown woman, and I almost cried for this cat piano. <laughs> well, that... That is all I have to show you for today. I hope you enjoyed your stay. I hope you stay to play and play to stay and other things that rhyme because I'm fucking Dr. Seuss. Um, so please drop a like. Please feel free to comment. Please tell me if you like what you saw. Would you like to see more of these videos? Would you like to see any sort of collection that I have? Because I have quite a few. I have puppets too. I have, um, oddities. I have an oddity shelf. I don't know if I mentioned that. I do have books, I have music, and I have clowns. And a whole bunch of other crap. Um, so yeah, a bunch of stuff. So yes, um, like, share, favorite, screenshot, eat it. 
um, twirl around with it, hold it up, hoist it, toss it, chuck it, bop it, uh, uh, do what you want. I, I'm going, um, I've been Hannibal Marie and, and you've been beautiful and now I must cocoon myself. <laughs>